Okay, it's Sunday here in Southern California, and it's been like uh, 90, what, 94 degrees or something all day. Although it's overcast, it's been hot and miserable. So I haven't really done nothing because it's just been hot and miserable all day. Now it's finally cooling off. So I figured I, one thing I've been wanting to do is check the rear brakes. It's got 60,000 miles on the truck now. I haven't looked at the brakes. I don't even know how to take the brakes drums off so uh, so that's what I'm doing right now only because I'm tired of sitting around in the house it's too hot in the house got no AC and uh, might as well do something I'm just bored one boring ass weekend you know so uh, yeah so I'm trying to get the drum off at least look at one side see what the brakes look like I've already done the front now I've heard, I read about people, well, I don't know, how do you get the brake drums off? I go, hey, I want to know the same thing. Typically in my old Chevy ML4, you just whack with a hammer a couple times and they loosen up and pop off. See, the brake is off, the parking brake is off, but the drum won't come off. Uh, so I had to get the manual out. Well, it says to put a little penetrating oil in here and let it sit and tap it. I did all that. Uh, the next thing to do is to put screws in these little bolt holes right here. See a little bolt hole? They're threaded, and this is threaded too. So I can just assume that you put these little bolts in, tighten them up, and the they push as you tighten and push the drum off. Yeah, shit. They're probably metric, so... Damn it. Let me see if I got anything that'll screw in there. I might. I got all kinds of nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts I got. Alright, I always like keeping extra nuts and bolts. And uh, These are all the bolts I got. I also got another can full of nuts. But what I need is a bolt. Preferably a metric one that fits in there. Oh man, why is there oil in there? So anyway, let's see what we got. Kind of looks like that, but that looks like a quarter by a twenty right there. So this is what it should look like. See? Oh, this drum is pretty heavy. Two screws, they're threaded in there. You gotta look very carefully because there are different little holes around here. And apparently these are 8.8 .8 millimeter or I mean that's what these screws say on them. That just I just happen to have some from who knows what. So when you tighten them up, as you can see here, when you tighten them up they just push. As you tighten, they push the drum off. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, there's, a little, there's rust in here, corrosion, and that's what's kind of making everything bind up. That and your pads are kind of tight on the drum. So, yeah, they're getting pretty thin. Can you see the lining here? Where are we at? Yeah. Getting close, but not too bad. What is it? Primary, secondary, brake pad. So I think it'd be my next project is uh, rear brakes. I'll just probably just change the pad. The pads are the shoes, brake shoes. Yeah. And a major brake job would be rebuild the cylinders, put new springs, all new hardware. That'd be the way to go if you, uh, yeah, that'd be the way to go. Anyway, so that's what that looks like, right? Brakes are good, but getting close. <laughs> 